Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today here with one of my Portula Carrier Afro bonsais. And as you can see, a lot of growth has happened already here now during this growth season. And I want to work a little bit on it today because my goal of course for this tree is to create really nice compact dense pads on it because I'm quite happy already with the overall shape of the tree. So that is what we're also going to focus on this video. Take back some of this growth here also really look into in which direction we still want this growth then to grow in the future and how we have to prune it back to actually achieve that. So before we start pruning let me actually give you a little look on this tree and you can see right away there is a lot of nice dense foliage here especially on this side you can probably spot a lot of growth. Uh, this has been for the last one two weeks the side that was facing the window where I keep this tree so this is of course because all this growth then starts to grow in the direction of the light source so you can really see it here but even on this side you have a lot of nice dense growth it has bounced back over winter from yeah a bit of a season where it had a bit of a slump so it didn't really do much lost some of the leaves when it got too dry in winter in my flat but until now it has really bounced back quite nicely. So I would say we really start working from one pad to the next, starting here with the lowest one and then making our way up this tree. The lower one here has actually already developed quite nicely. So also from this side, you can see it is doing quite well, but this part here is getting a bit too thick and it's growing inward. So I want to take this out and I might even take out the whole thing here to really keep this pad more pronounced away from this main trunk here. Then we have nice growth coming here from a new growth point. However, I still want to prune this back because I want it to bifurcate, so to branch out, to ramify. So we take it out here, we leave it at this node and two new leaves should start to grow from here. And we will also do the same here. So more than that, maybe here this one also just shorten a little bit. And that's all we have to do for this little pad down here. Especially on this side, you can already see it is becoming very dense. And I really like the look of this little pad down here right away. Not so happy here yet with this. Well, I wouldn't even call it a pad yet because you can see so little really branch structure here. So that is something that I'm mainly focused on with this part here to really get the branch structure going before we really look into anything else. So how we do that, we actually also shorten here again this branch quite considerably. So we take out this and we need to, of course, still stunt the growth of a lot of this stuff that's going on here that is definitely starting to be too big. So we take this part out, we move it a little bit, also seeing from this side if there is a lot of new growth coming, especially here also, I would at least take out the tip, probably here as well. So we also go in here, take out the tip. And here you can see it's still quite bare and you can see that then it has this upper branch here and it's sort of like, yeah, mixing in here together with this branch or this pad that is the goal of forming in the future. Question is, do we keep this on because it's already so close to the actual apex of this tree? For now, we'll only shorten it. Let's come back to this, however, by the end of this pruning session to decide if we might even remove this entire part here, but yeah, it might, look, it might make it look even a, a bit too bare, so we will see. And that already brings us, because we don't have that many branches or side branches on this tree, to the main apex of this tree. And the overall goal, of course, is to have a triangular shape overall on this tree, which means we also definitely need to prune this a little bit back and just give it a little bit of that shape. And we have this very tall growth points here, so all three of them we actually quite liberally just cut back. Oh, one actually is still lying in here. And then we look a bit more in detail on what we have to do. So also here there's growth we can take out here in the back then also. So that's the nice thing about looking at it from all different perspectives. We can see that there's also one growth point here that has grown quite long that we can shorten and then the question is does this already lead us more to a triangular shape and i think it does actually if we look at this we can definitely see the triangular shape here very nicely moving in together with this one here so we will have this 
branch here probably a little bit longer or actually shorten this one a little bit to give it a nice triangular shape. And of course, when we look at a tree, it is never two dimensional. So of course, we also need to look at it from different angles. And this triangular shape is actually something that keeps through a lot of different angles on this tree. I mean, also here from the back, of course, it also again has a nice triangular shape. We can see here that maybe here the tip is a little bit too big still. It is a bit less pronounced on this side, so it has more of a nice evening out here to this lower branches, which I'm totally fine with because we still have this nice difference with the pad here and you can really see it is a pad. So there is height difference in between here. We have new growth also forming here from actually branches we have removed quite a long time ago already. That always happens in growth season on my Portal Afra. They do tend to throw out new growth, growth here. And also we have one down here and for here I really for a long time have asked myself should I let this grow and have another branch here? And it is really an interesting question to think about. The only problem I have it always basically comes straight at the viewer here. So this I would still consider the front definitely and it just comes out so straight here that even if we motivate it to grow a little bit here it just I don't think it's a good point to have this growth coming from here. So once again, I'm removing this. I think this is the fourth or fifth time I actually remove growth from this point. And every time it grows back, I'm keep, I keep thinking, should I let it grow or not? But I'm never really happy with the way it turns out, even if I let it grow taller than that. So let's take it out right away. So it's already quite nicely looking, this tree. I think I would still just go in and really see where, where there's just tips we haven't worked on yet, if they are too long. If we can take them back, if there is growth like here, for example, that doesn't look that healthy, but it's still clinging on here. So why not let it cling on? This pad here is really, is really coming along quite nicely. At first, a couple of months actually now back, uh, it was very bare from this side. So it has really started to regrow a nice structure here, branching out, really looking again like from this side also this, this growth and this, this pad has nice potential. Up here I might find it a bit crowded, but yeah, I wouldn't go too much into detail here at the moment because we still have a nice space, open space in here between this pad and the other. This brings us still a little bit back to this part here. But now if I look at it from this side, actually I can see that the problem would even start from down here already with this pad. Or with this branch actually. So if we take out this branch that already opens up the pad a little bit. So if we take this out and then maybe one of those two branches we can actually turn this into a nice little side branch. That right now it doesn't really look like a side branch. It more looks like part of the overall apex of this tree. So I'm taking this out and then probably just probably this little back branch here. And that definitely opens up also some space in between here. Of course, very much depending on where you look at it from. So even here, let's shorten this a little bit. Remove this one leaf here if I can reach it. Just to have a look at how this can look as a pad in the future. Looking at it from the back where it never had that much growth anyway. But yeah. I think this can develop in a nice separate pad. Even maybe this one we will take out still. So if we take this out, is there anything lost? Because that of course is something I want to keep in mind. And there might be because I do like the new growth coming in here, starting to branch out. It can fill in a lot of this area here. So we keep this on. We don't only for the sake of pruning have to take out all the branches here that might not fit fully. And this one can be still beneficial at that point. So let's keep that in. Let's focus a bit in the future also on creating a nice looking pad here. So again, working on it simply getting a bit more dense, a bit more pronounced when it comes to branch structure, very much taking this one here as a little role model on the way we can also then form this one up here. The oval apex is a bit messy in the moment anyway, now that it will start to grow back again, it should also fill in parts so you won't see that much of this main trunk here, which when we look at the taper could be a bit shorter anyway, or at least taper out more 
Mm, yeah, could tape out a little bit more, definitely. But for now, let's see to get this as dense and as bushy as possible as well, to have like really nice small foliage on here. And then, of course, we're still in the middle of growth season, so there will be a lot of growth still and probably another pruning session coming along. But we did take out quite a lot of leaves, as I can see here, and little branches that we took out. I will keep you updated on this tree, of course, um, latest when I again work on this in a bigger video. Until then, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my channel, feel free to subscribe to it. If you enjoyed this video, of course, also feel free to leave a like. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.